Hi everyone, thank you for joining me in the Sugar and, Cri Sugar and Crumbs kitchen tonight. Can't get my words out, which is strange. I'm not really <laughs> short of words. So let me welcome you to Holly. Hi. And Holly is the Sugar Mom Fairy. So I've been laughing my head off because I've been talking to Holly for such a long time about coming on tonight. And it was only last week that I put the connection Sugar Mom Fairy and Holly was the same person. <laughs> so how cool is that? So anyhow, so Holly has come all the way from, I keep saying Plymouth, is Portsmouth. it Portsmouth? Portsmouth? Portsmouth, okay, to show you how to make the most amazing drip cake. She's going to also show you how to ganache a cake as well. And um, she's not gonna bake a cake, and um, the products that she's used today is, she's made a chocolate cake, chocolate layer cake, and she's used the chocolate lime cocoa powder, which, in your own words, what was you telling me before about chocolate lime? Oh, it's made uh, chocolate lime bold sweets. Like the yeah. old fashioned chocolate yeah. lime bold sweets. But you were saying how everybody now loves it down yeah. your way, you don't you? normally have yeah. it, Because right. chocolate lime is absolutely amazing, it really is. But it's not one of our top selling flavoured cocoa powders, the orange and then the cherry. And I actually love this, I think it's amazing. So I was really surprised when I was talking to Holly before that she said in the area that she's in, because she uses it so often, how it's become really well received. And she's using key lime buttercream tonight as well, aren't you? Mm -hmm. So that's good. So, um, so I'm gonna hand you over to Holly in a minute, but I just want to talk to you about a few things that we're doing. But before we do that, let's get John shouting out a few hellos, see who's joined you, <laughs> joined us. Joined you, joined us. <laughs> I always get the words wrong. So, John, who's joined us? <coughs> uh, we've got uh, Sarah Williams, Julianne Barrett, Bridget Mason, Lindsay McIver, Julie Smith, Laura Marshall, Pam Kerchick, Cap Riley, Martin Dursley, Di Is that Wheeler. Laura Marshall from our office? Yes, it is. Yeah. Ooh, she's been working hard, that Laura. She's off out impressing Teresa us. Teresa Jane Green, Helen Miles, Lynn Spruels, Lynn Feather, Andy Boydell. Uh, we've got Jade Rainey from Idaho, oh. Michelle Smith, we've got Cassie Munns who says Holly's cakes are amazing. Oh, oh. thank you. <laughs> like cakes. Yeah, guys, uh, if you are a fan, Adams, just Adams, Helen Price, just Paul Flynn. Sorry, Paul who? Paula Flynn. Oh, Paula Flynn. So, yeah. hi everybody. I do know most of you have said hello, so thank you for joining us again. If there's any newbies out there, make sure that you type up your name and say you're a newbie and where you are in the, from the UK or around the world. And if you're a follower of Holly's, please give her the support tonight by saying hi and that you've joined her, us, right? Because it's really nerve-wracking here, isn't it? We have had a really good giggle because I've never known somebody so cool and collected. She's drove up from Portsmouth and if I was driving from Portsmouth today, I would have set up at 6 a.m. Not Holly, no. Half past 10, 11 o'clock, she gets in the car, strolls on up here, gets here about five, half past five, totally cool as a cucumber. Me and Maria are like, oh God, we should be here in time. <laughs> and we've had a really good giggle since. And uh, at the very last minute, I decided that I was going to make some flowers with it for you, which I've never made before using some of these piping tips. And uh, I said to Holly, Holly asked me to know how to make them, it was, not you? And I'm going, no, no, we're, we're just going to wing it. <laughs> What do you think? What a wing. Right, it's not finished. <laughs> but what do you think? When it started, John was like, what's that? <laughs> then he saw it again and he's like, mm, right, okay, that's looking good. So that's what we were playing with in the kitchen before. So I'm gonna finish that off for you. So, um, so we've had a really good laugh and Holly's really very friendly and I am going to hand over to her soon. Is there any more comments, John? Uh, we've got a lot, we've got 191, 192 people watching. Oh, fantastic, really good. it's gonna grow. Uh, we've got, uh, to be fair, apologies if I miss people because the feed is flying up with everybody saying hello. We've got, I have noticed we've got Asaya from South Africa, we had Deborah from Dubai, wow. we've had Nye from Orlando in Florida, Nikki from the world. Oh, well, there you go. We've got to keep some local, haven't we? <laughs> hello, Nikki from the world. Hello, hello from around the world. It's great that you're following us. Oh, in. Debbie Hallett, she said she's in Portsmouth. Right. Wow. Yay. Yeah. Well, you two have to meet up then. 
Right, okay then. Well, We've got thanks. Kev Gregory from the next room. Oh, hello, hubby. From the next <laughs> <laughs> Oh, who's that? Oh, your husband yeah. from the next room. That's yeah. funny. Okay, yeah. Holly's um, husband's in the next room. She wouldn't allow him in here. She's never allowed him to watch, so I told him to get on Facebook and watch there. So he's been banned from the kitchen, so he's in the room next door. So hello, those people from around the world Dubai, Indio, and. I'm Menorca. Sure Menorca. Wow. Uh, we've got uh, Denise from North Carolina. Wow. Oh, We're doing very well, very good. Well, anyhow, any of you who hasn't watched us before, this is the Sugar and Crumbs kitchen. Basically, this is my own kitchen, mine and John's own kitchen. What we do in here is not for customer resale. So if you see me flick my hair or anything like that, don't worry about it. <laughs> Nothing's being passed on to the general public. This is us just playing in the kitchen, showing you how to do things. I'm actually a hobby baker. You're a hobby baker more professional now because you're yeah, turning it into a business. You've been yeah. going two years, haven't yeah. you? Yeah, two years. So um, I'm still playing with things. We make mistakes. We've got a great audience. We've got a great community here at Sugar and Crumbs. So if you haven't joined us before, you'll hear that we've got we've heard loads of regular names coming out. If you're going to ask questions and the feed is going really very very fast, don't worry. One of our community members will answer that question for you. And if it doesn't get answered, Maria and I do answer the questions tomorrow. And I might even get Laura on it. So we all try really hard because there's always so many questions. So let's talk about a few things. Buttercream flowers. In December, Valerie and Christina, who make those amazing cakes, um, they came along and they did a fantastic display in December. And this is their fourth book. It's fabulous. It's on the website. They're in stock. Everybody's book has been dispatched today. So those who pre-ordered, it's been dispatched today. You should be getting it by Wednesday, Thursday, the latest, okay? In there, they have also slipped in this little freebie card, which I thought was handy when I can get it off the gripper. This freebie card, it acts as a bookmark and it just gives you some little hints and tips on there, weights for sugar, powdered sugar, butter, flour, oven temperatures. So the girls have put that in and the girls have also signed them for you. They're all genuinely hand signed, okay? And, and they must be exhausted because they've actually put this on. So they've got a printed hand sign there that's printed into the book. This was done for Sugar and Crumbs customers and they put enjoy a full year buttercream blossoms love Valerie and Christina. So these are all been hand signed for off the girls for you. So if you want these you can order these and you can get them now because they're in stock. Um, a couple of other things that are new in stock, we've now got these little cupcake bags which I thought were quite cute if you want to do them as little presents. So they come in packets of 12, Oops, there you go, all dropped all over the top. <laughs> I've got to thank my photographer for opening it upside down. <laughs> That's the thing when you go live on the night, you see it as it is. So I'll screw around tidying that up in a minute. So um, we've also got this really nice glittery happy birthday cake uh, topper that you can pop into, your, into the toppy cake, which is really very nice. And we've also got the baby one, which as well. This is a proper bling one, this one. So this one's card and this one's little diamantes. They're all on the website. And then I've got these guys in stock. There's 500 and they're on special for 9 dollars for your cases. These are fabulous, okay? I've taken the wrapping off them because the photographer was here and he took the pictures. So I'm going to have to use these because they're when he took the pictures of them, he broke all the wrapping on them. So I'll have to use these. I'll just show you the colours. So these are $9.99 for 500, which I think is an absolute bargain. Ooh. So we've got them in purple, green, red, orange, and pink. So they're they're fantastic. So I certainly grab them. Those are wild stocks last. Okay, we won't get them at this price again. And then we've got some tulip wraps in. So these have come in, okay. Now these are, I can't remember what these were on the website now. I think actually I said $9.99. They were, they're either $8.99 or $9.99. Maria's going to have a look. And then we've got these tulip wraps in. They come in at 200, bundles of 200. We've got them in the black and white check. Red, which is great for Valentine's Day. And on Thursday... I might do something with these on Thursday, so for Valentine's Day. And then we've got purple, 
and we've got the pink. So these are in packs of 200. So I forget what these are as well. Can you remember, John? I can't remember, but they're on the website. We'll, anyway, we'll pull it up in a minute and we'll have a look. Or somebody else may be able to pull it up for me. But they're the bulk packet, so there they are. So let me just get those out of the way. And then, the reason I've done this cake is... Are they in the way there, John? Not there. Not there. Brilliant. Well done. You know what? You can work here. You do very well. So, the reason I've done this cake is, is that we've got some nozzles that people don't actually know how to use. And they're just a little bit more specialist. So, what I've done is, I've put a selection of flower nozzles together, okay, and some of the little petal nozzles. So I've called them 12 assorted nozzles. They work out at two pound a nozzle each. So like I say, you get some flower nozzles, but you get one of these in there, which is great. You get the stamens in, you get the grass in, the fine grass, and you get rosy, rosebud, lucy, sun, uh, sunflower. And I've used quite a lot of these for the centers of these. And then I've used one of the petals to make these. So basically, I'm trying to make a bigger flower for you, and I'm going to show you how to do that later. I didn't want to take all, um, all Holly's um, evening up tonight, so I've just made these tonight, haven't we? Put them in the fridge, and I'm actually going to put this cake in the fridge because it's not quite set. It is a dummy cake, but the decorations aren't quite set. And of course, I used rest of, some of the rest of those blossoms that I made the other week. Last Monday, I think it was, I made them for you. So I'm going to put that together, and uh, we'll come back to that in a little while, okay? So what I'm going to do now is, did you find out the prices of those? It's eight ninety nine for two hundred. Eight ninety nine for two hundred for the cupcake case for the tulip wraps. For the tulip, it's eight ninety nine. Yep, yes. for those. Four fifty. No, uh, no, 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 no. These are foils. These are the foils. So, um, so anyhow, they're eight ninety nine, and we'll come back to those afterwards. I think they're nine ninety nine. Nine ninety nine. Karen Nailers put it on. Karen Nailers put it's it on. So I think they're a great bargain. They're absolutely lovely, and the red ones will be great for Valentine's Day as well. Okay. So I'm just going to pop this in the fridge out of the way, and then I am going to crawl all over the floor while Holly starts <laughs> talking to you. While I pick up the old bags I just dropped. Okay. So Holly, I'm going to hand over to you. Anything you need. Just shout yes. out. Thank so you. So give me support, guys. <laughs> Hi, guys. Um, I'm Holly, Sugar Mom Fairy, and I'm going to show you how to do a drip cake. I'm really nervous. I don't even know why, because these guys are awesome. <laughs> this is fine. I'm shaking, so I apologise if I've got shaky hands. Um, but yeah, so firstly, I'm going to show you how to do, um, how I fill and ganache my cakes. Um, and I like a lot of filling in my cakes, so I'm going to show you how to do it without getting the bulges. Everyone knows what the bulges are like once you ice it. Um, so firstly, I will show you how I do that. So like Carol said, we used um, chocolate lime cocoa powder in here, so it tastes very yummy. I always say it's one of my favorites. They're all my favorites in fairness. I only make flavors on it. <laughs> So just quickly say, I've got two different, same flavour, but two different types. I've got a really firm buttercream, and then I've got a softer buttercream, and I'll explain why in a second. Let's just pop this on here. Sorry. <laughs> if you need any help, just shout, I'm here. Thank you. I'm quite excited to learn how to do this. Look at this, look at this. Oh, I know, it is nerve-wracking. People just don't realise how nerve-wracking it is, but don't worry. I'm usually worry. in my own kitchen, just me, by myself. <laughs> my music on. <laughs> right, so... Matthew Rostron says, send me that cake. Oh, and very nice cake. It was his birthday yesterday. Happy birthday, Matthew, for yesterday. And it's Gwen Powell's today, the DK applicator lady. Oh, really? Yeah. Right, so we've got the firm buttercream. And what I'm going to do is just border the cake. This is going to be really hard to get out of it's going to be cold. Is that bit. okay? Yeah. Right, so, well, easier said than done. Don't worry. It's been cold. 
use my hands again. It's Listen, not going to anyone. Don't, don't panic to anybody because everybody realises it's always not the same on the night. Your bag might burst, you know. I think it's going to burst. Shall we just warm it a bit? It's, got, it's very cold now. It is, got really cold. Hang on a minute. I'll be using the softer one, for example. Everyone will know what it's hot for. Improvisation. Eh? <laughs> Holly did make this this morning and brought it up. <laughs> and had no heating on in the car so she could keep it cool. So she's frozen herself to death for five hours in the car. And now it's rock hard. <laughs> and the soft one is perfect, is it? Yeah. Right, so, so this is how the hard one should be. This is how the hard one should be. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so um, you can put any kind of chocolate sauce in there if you wanted to, or just keep it as normal buttercream. Again, this would be the softer buttercream that would go in the middle. Got a couple of questions that are we going to post the recipe for the chocolate cake? We already did the chocolate cake, and um, we did it last on Thursday. I made it, and the recipe is on there, isn't it, Maria? It yeah, but on Thursday. What flavour did we use on Thursday? Chocolate orange, don't we? Yes. And all that all that Holly's done is she's used chocolate lime cocoa powder. It's been here as well. And it's pinned to the top of the page. Alright, second one on. They're nice deep sponges then, aren't they? What size sponge is that? Is that the six inches? Just the six, yeah. yeah. So I think I do three layers of sponge, but I like lots of filling. Yeah. So See, I'm a bit mingy with the filling. Eh? <laughs> See, I, I, I like filling. So See, I, I tend not to put the buttercream filling in. I tend to put just jam, a layer jam. of jam, because I, I end up covering all my cake with buttercream. <laughs> oh, yeah. See, yeah. If you're going to do a buttercream cake, it works like that. Yeah. You're going to cover it with ganache and fondant. Yeah. It's quite nice to no, have, no, it no, really have a bit of a nice filling in there. Mm. And a lovely green colour you've got there as well. I colour code it. <laughs> Does a ganache cake need to be kept in the fridge? Um, what I do is I let it set in the fridge, but once it's set, because you heat the cream, um, it should be fine. Sorry, thank you. I take it you don't want it back. <laughs> you have to take it back home. <laughs> <It's a long laughs> So your measurement of cake, what did you, what mixture did you use to get your three layers? Because you put it in a six inch tin, but what, um, what amounts of cake mix did you use? Oh God, I have really awkward recipes. Do you? Yeah. Um, <laughs> I won't be able to tell you the top of my head. I can tell you and then you can pop it on there. Um, I don't know the top well, of my to, head. For me, if I was putting that in a six inch tin, I would still use an eight ounce recipe just so I could put a bit more in the tins to make it thicker. Yeah, I suppose it depends how high you want it yeah. to be, really. You can adjust it to how tall you want it to be. I haven't got a feed, really. Because, I mean, if you put another one on top of there, you could feed double the amount of people, yeah. really. Should I hold this amount and warm it, or do you not need it? I don't need it now, no. That's We've fine. survived. We've survived. Right, so what I would normally do is pop this in the fridge for a little bit just to chill it but where we're on here I can improvise. So I'm just gonna grab my ganache and I've pre-made this and I'll tell you how. For a six inch cake my size I've used 300 grams of cheap milk chocolate and a hundred grams of just double cream. I put them in the microwave for one minute, give it a mix, let it melt in cling film over the top because otherwise you'll get a skin and then just leave it overnight and once it's overnight it should be again it's a little bit it was a little bit cold in my car so it's set a little bit harder than normal but it should be peanut butter consistency so it should be like this and once it's on your cake thank you once it's on your cake it will set nice and firm So how long have you been making cakes, Holly? Two years. Two years? <laughs> yeah, not long. <laughs> winging it. Good girl. Girl after my own heart, winging it. You saw it live, me winging it tonight, didn't you? <laughs> do you bake the, the cakes a whole in one tin, or, do you, or is each layer done in I do it in layers. I find that it keeps it moister. If I baked it in one big tin, I find that it would be a tiny little bit too soggy and dry around the middle. 
uh, around the outside, sorry. So for my peace of mind, I do it in separate layers. But depending on, everyone's recipe is different as well. I find if you have a lot more um, liquid in your cake, you can get away with it. If not, again, it's, it's trial and error. I'm still winging it. <laughs> I've got to be honest, I prefer to do it in layers because I've never managed to cut, cut a cake straight. <laughs> I've got an acne. So one of those are amazing. Yeah. <laughs> right, is this going to be too firm? Do you mind if I heat that up ever yeah. so slightly? Yeah. I am the world's worst for the microwave. <laughs> John? <laughs> I've managed to ruin everybody's ganache so Literally. far. Um, 10 seconds? Yeah. Yeah, well, you were supposed to But it's on a high power though. Turn it off. Only <laughs> <laughs> oh, because you don't want to get the blame like I am. <laughs> Is that perfect? Well, we would get it perfect. <laughs> So far, I've ruined Paul Louise uh, Brimlow's ganache, Dawn Butler's ganache, <laughs> and I'm scared of ganache because I've done that. It is, it is trial and error <clears throat> with ganache. It yeah. is trying it out and and learning. You, you learn to look what it looks like and how to get it on, yeah. really. Oh, that's much better, yeah. now, isn't it? So, any questions, fun. John? No, nothing at the moment. There's a question about how do you get the cake so level, but I think someone's answered it. Put the temperature a little bit lower. Yeah, yeah, yeah. low temperature. You can also get um, like baking bands. I don't know if you spoke about them yeah. before. Yeah, uh, I don't. I did use them when I first started out. Yeah. Um, but again, the more you do cakes, you'll learn how your recipe reacts. To temperatures yeah I used to use them if I wanted a deep cake yeah but then now I just make them shallower mm. and then well I just make them in sandwich tins and on a low temperature because I used to really put them on high and have big domes on them <laughs> cut them off yeah. drove me mad that's what Gemma's just said yeah she's always cut, cutting the mountains off the top of her yeah well, I don't cut any off now now I cut them on low mm. oh I tell you in which chocolate do you use for your ganache? Um, it's I literally buy thirty p um, cheap chocolate from Aldi. <laughs> Just yeah, a lot of people do. Yeah, and it tastes just as nice. But we do sell Dr. Oka on our website: chocolate, milk, and white uh, mm -hmm. milk chocolate and white chocolate. Did you say you put double cream in it? Yes. Yeah. Green. Could you just run through what you've actually put into that ganache again, please? Yes, yeah, sure. So for a six inch cake, I used 300 grams of the cheap chocolate, um, broken up into cubes into a bowl. Are you making some after? What no, no, that's for chocolate? my drip, that oh, one. Yeah. Right, okay. Um, but that's ganache as well, isn't it? Yeah, it will be a different consistency right. as well. To get um, this kind of ganache that will set, you need to, like I said, leave it overnight to become peanut butter consistency yeah. and then it's easier for you to spread on a cake. So when you say leave it overnight, you make the ganache yeah. and then leave it out overnight? Yeah, with a piece of cling film touching the actual ganache because oh. you will get skin. Right. So it needs to be in contact so with So you don't have it over the bowl then, no. it's got to be laid right on top. Inside, yeah. I wondered why you had that on before. <laughs> yeah. And then you leave it at room temperature then, you don't leave it in the fridge? No, because it will go rock solid. Oh. <laughs> like that. Yeah. So you can chill your cake before you put your ganache on. Sometimes it's a little bit easier um, just because the buttercream is nice and set um, so you don't get any movement. As you put it on, as you can see, it's a little bit wobbly. Right. Best piece of equipment you will ever, ever, ever buy. Yeah. <laughs> and this along. I hate smoothing cakes. I can never smooth a cake. It takes time. I like rustic. <laughs> you do it so rustic well. for me all the way. Yeah, no, I'm good at rustic. <laughs> what what gas temperature would be best for a flat cake? Angie has got two birthday cakes next week. Would would like to know. 
I cook mine um, in a fan oven at 140. And you do exactly the same as me. Yeah. What gas yeah. marks are? Chris has said that's oh. gas mark three. Wouldn't know. Is it gas mark free? Because I had a lady at see I cut I bake at 140 and I'm glad that you do as well. Yeah. But and and you do get that nice flat yeah. top, don't you, all the yeah. time. But I had a lady in the warehouse today and she said that 140 is gas mark one, which is I it? thought it was. But um I don't know. And she couldn't believe that she could bake a cake on gas mark one, so I'm not sure. I said I can't comment, I can no. only tell you what I bake mine on. Yeah, I'm not sure. And mine's a fan assisted oven as well. So it's looking nice and smooth that Holly. It could, you may need to have a couple of um, goes. I mean you can smooth it out and then again you can put it in the fridge again if you want to to let it harden a little bit and then you can add more if you want to. Um, or you can leave it out and it will set slowly. Any more questions Sean? Is it all quiet out there? It is all quite quiet. Mother, are you watching yet? Yes. <laughs> is Holly's mum watching? Does she know how to use Facebook? Yes. Yeah, Good. Watching. What's her name? Helen. Helen Gard. Mm, I can't. Well, so whether she's got the baby well, to yeah, bed or not. She's probably <laughs> put him a little boy to bed and he's being a sod, probably. To be fair, I haven't noticed that name. <gasps> Mother. But that doesn't mean she's not there. We've got 423 people watching. Oh, wow. So, <laughs> so I could quite easily have missed her. You could just have, just have one and make me feel a lot better. Well, Kevin and Have you noticed? Have you started shaking again? Yeah, your eyes are gone. Look <laughs> like what you've done. <laughs> Should have sent him out as well. Yeah. <laughs> Right, so we're getting there slowly, but surely. Yes, your mum's there. Hello, Hello. mother. <laughs> Hello, Holly's mum. Thank you for babysitting. <laughs> you do know they're not coming home tomorrow. They're going by on the holidays. <laughs> yeah. we're off to it's just a, it was just a joke for the night. <laughs> See you next month. <laughs> Right, have we got that hot water? Yes. Thank you. Right. So what you can do to make it really, really smooth, which I do, is just get a bowl of boiling hot water from the kettle and heat your bench scraper into it and it will make it nice and smooth, hopefully. Famous last words. I think there's a... Uh... Oh, thanks, Rob. Yeah, I must have missed that comment. Yeah, apparently Mum had commented earlier. Oh, has she? Yeah, oh, I must have missed that. Hey, Mother. <laughs> um, there seemed to be a bit of conflicting information on what get on gas mark numbers and Celsius. Well, we can, <laughs> only, we can only agree on fan ovens, for Holly and I. Sorry. <laughs> I don't know about gas. <laughs> I couldn't. I've not cooked on a gas oven since I was a kid. So I couldn't comment. I don't think I've ever. Especially baked on a gas oven, I don't think I've ever. Do you know, I always baked in gas until I got married. And then um, I went to a fan oven. Right, so once you've popped your bench scraper in some boiling water, you need to lean it just on the cake. That's clever, isn't it? I like that. Especially as it starts to set, it can kind of bring the ganache off as you're putting it on. So having the hot bench scraper just smooths it right off. And I find the smoother your base is, the smoother your fondant will be. And the smoother the base you've got, you can have no lumps and bumps then. It's less, less work later. Yeah. <laughs> if, you don't, if you don't put the, the cake in the fridge, yeah. when you cut a slice, does the ganache crumble and break? Uh, it shouldn't do, no. Um, because ganache will set Without it, I mean, this went in the. I'll show you in a second. I've got another cake that I'm, one I made earlier. Yeah. Um, <laughs> Artifact. Because we can't decorate this one because it's got to set for it's got to set hours. for a bit. Yeah. Yeah. Um, but so, Holly wanted to show you putting it together. So it it will set, um, not rock solid, but a nice like like chocolate wood when it's been heated. Mm -hmm. but, so it's not tempered, but um, it won't crumble. It shouldn't crumble. It should be nice and smooth. 
someone's that has made a fair comment is they the can the map that you're working on has that got conversions for temperature uh, uh, yes it has uh, oh no that's fahrenheit centigrade uh, no nope, doesn't no, have gas no no gas no nope. no one likes cooking on gas do they yeah. we'll have to google it john <laughs> Tell Holly's husband to Google it. Yeah, I'll come up with a whole. He's probably watching the footies, acting like he's watching it. He's watching it. He's watching it. <laughs> and where did you get the, where did you get the turntable from? It's mine. Yes. And where I keep telling good. everybody this. When this this turntable is from an a, a Tico turntable. I like it's it. It's from America. If you live in America, it's really very cheap to buy. When I say cheap, I think it's about like thirty nine dollars or something. $49 in America but because it's being shipped over here um, I've not found a supplier here in the UK so I've had to buy it via Amazon and it was between six well when I bought mine it was 78 pounds but I gave somebody the link at the weekend a lady at the weekend asked me for the link so I just googled it well I just looked for it on Amazon and I think it was 68 pounds on Amazon but it's a, a Tico, and you'll find that all the professionals use this one every time I it's see so them. It's so sturdy, isn't it? Yeah, it's, it's lovely. It's high as well, yeah. which is nice. Okay, so I think that's as straight as we're going to go. Where did you get this? Where's the smoother from? I got this from eBay. <laughs> yeah. A couple of quid. It's, yeah. um, what was it down as? It's something to do with a bread kneading. Uh, yeah, I was going to say, it is, it is a bread one. Yeah. Yeah, because the way it fits, because it's. Ah, got, someone has mentioned the dough cutter. Yeah. 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 Oh, check your messenger, Carol. Rob Allen sent you a chart. Uh, I can't because it's filming at the moment, Holly. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, we're using the phone. We're using the phone to film. Right, thank you very much, Rob. Yeah. <laughs> right. So, what I would then do is pop that in the fridge and just let it set before I wanted to cover it with fondant. Yeah. But we have one we made earlier, so. Yeah. So we're going to clean that board up. Yeah. Could you run well, through the ganache recipe again, please? Yes, yeah, sure. I'll clean your board yeah. for you. Also, I've got another fresh one there, so that oh, can just go away. Okay. Yeah. Um, put them Sorry, right, so right. for a six inch cake, 300 grams of just normal milk chocolate, cheapest chips, 30p from Aldi or other retailers. Pop it in a bowl and then just weigh out 100 ml of double cream and then pop it in the microwave for a minute, depending on what wattage your microwave is, um, but just check on it. Put it in a minute, and then just let it sit and let the chocolate melt in the cream, um, and then just give it a mix. And it, I wish I'd shown you how to make the national. Um, yes, I thought that's what it was doing. <laughs> <laughs> um, and then, yeah, mix it all up so it's all can mixed up, no bits left over. If you need to pop it in 30 seconds at a time, just to let that chocolate melt and then pop cling film over the top make sure it's touching the ganache so it doesn't get a skin and then yeah leave it overnight and then i think you can leave it up to just let me ask you how much of this double cream do you need for this for that one um 33 mil so that it's a ratio is. three one part right. cream. Because I was going to say, if I go and get some bars of chocolate, do you want to show how to make yeah, it? Yeah, sure. Should yeah, sure. Shall we do that? Yeah. Right, I'll go and get the chocolate. You keep talking. Yeah. Just clean your board. Yeah. You occupy it. Yeah. Answer the questions. We'll make, we'll make it in a minute. <laughs> Thank you. Right. Do you need these in the fridge? Um, it can just be left out because I've got one that I really need. It's fine. So. one I made yesterday so that was left in the fridge overnight it hasn't been in the fridge um, all today and it is nice and solid so that's why I like to use it so you don't get any bulging of the nice thick um, filling you've got in there as well let's get that out of the way and I'm just going to move this so I can show you how I do the fondant If I'm going too fast, tell me. <laughs> I tend to blab. <laughs> that's quite okay, our audience are used to it. Okay. <laughs> I can say that, she's not here. <laughs> She'll watch it back. <laughs> She'll know. Yeah, I'll be 
all going to work by that time tomorrow. <laughs> How do. far in advance can you make this and how long will it keep for? Um, how long in advance? I, because it's cream, um, I would literally make it the day before, um, personally. And um, like anything, like with buttercream, I, I use it the same as I would buttercream. So a few days I'd leave it, really. Um, but where the cream has been heated, um, I believe the the harmful bacteria is taken out. So um, it's a bit better than just using buttercream, which obviously is, has to be kept in the fridge, if that makes any sense at all. If I've got it wrong, please let me know. Yeah. <laughs> Should we do that before we do that one? Is that easier? Yeah, yeah. there's a way of keeping up with it. I didn't know how much chocolate you wanted. That's probably not bad, let's... Right, let's get this out of the way. Your husband's laughing because the feed it's about 30 seconds behind. You can hear me in here. No, I walked in there and I'm still on Facebook. He's <laughs> like, how have you managed to do that? <laughs> right, so, six of these, 100, 150. I need two of those. Okay, so for six inch cake. I thought I'd do the glass bowl for you so they can see it. one of my baker friends you can actually make ganache with water okay. uh, you can um, there is a recipe online I haven't tried it myself um, but one of my baker friends she actually makes water ganache so that's really good um, if you can get um, everyone's going to be googling that yeah, water yeah. ganache one never is cheaper water ganache. <laughs> <laughs> I've never used it myself but another baker friend she swears by it so right. very good have a look but the oven are on here to show us <laughs> tell her that's it Right, so we've got 300 grams of chocolate in there. And with milk chocolate, I find a 3-1 ratio works best. So three parts chocolate, thank you. <laughs> three parts chocolate, one part cream. So oh, it would be, there we go here. Reset, there we go. Right, so 100 ml of shaky hands. I notice that you're using Elm Lee, which is not the fresh no. cream. Can you use fresh cream You as can well? use fresh as well, yeah. So it doesn't matter which one you use? No, as long as it's double. As long as it's double cream? Yeah. Super. 100. Right, so it's covering the chocolate. One minute in the microwave, you can do Right, now, <laughs> let me just ask now, what out my temperature and my microwave's high? What, does it need um, to be on a low temp? I'd put it on... We'll just take it out right after 40 minutes. Because Dr. when Dr. Oprah were here, they kept telling me to take it out. Oh, really? Yeah. Um, I'd put it on for a minute and, and see how it is, because I've got yeah. quite a high wattage um, right. microwave as well. Just remember, guys. <laughs> 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 No pressure, Carol. <laughs> <laughs> right, so what have we done with your other cake now? And it's just over there, but we've got the next one ready. So, it's exciting. Gonna fund it. Yes, <laughs> exactly. So do you want to show them how nice and smooth this is? This yes, is the one you're gonna decorate. Do so again, so this is the one I did. Do you need yesterday. to boil the cream to make it safe? Yes. Yes, you can either um, make sure it's boiling in um, 
in the microwave or you can actually put it in a saucepan if you wanted to, bring it to the boil and then pour it over your chocolate, whatever you find yeah, easier. Yeah, this, this is bubbling. Is it? Yeah. Are we to take it out or yeah. keep it bubbling? How long have we got left? Yeah, keep it in there. 13 like, seconds. Yeah, that'd be fun. You're very confident, Holly. <laughs> Winging it. <laughs> away in there. Um, I just, do you want to show which camera we're on? Alright, we're on yes. yeah. 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 yeah, so pop all the chocolate in there and just let it sit and let all that chocolate melt within the cream before you mix it because the more you mix it, it will cool it down. That's good a tip, minutes. isn't it? See, I would have just started stirring yeah. it now. So that hot cream is effectively now melting, melting the chocolate. chocolate. Yeah. Oh, good girl. See, I would have been straight in there it does stirring it. Yeah. <laughs> and how long would you leave that there for? Oh, just a few minutes, just before you can see it. You can see it melting now. Yeah. yeah. Just give it a prod and see how it's doing. It is melting quite quickly, actually. Mm, Crack it, might have not mucked up the gash. The ganache. Gash. Ganache. <laughs> See, it's really melting nicely yeah, there. Yeah, look at that. Right, any questions, Sean? No, at the moment. Phil said go and get it. I can't wait to look at rhubarb. <laughs> Not as red as my chin. Really fun, isn't it? Have you got a spoon? I have, yeah, I have. Do you find it warm in this kitchen? I know John and Maria are always cold, but I think when you live yourself doing the demo, you get really up. hot and bothered, Ooh. don't you? Okay, so it has started to melt, so just slowly start mixing it together, really. I was really nervous about trying ganache. I looked for months and months and months on YouTube, on different ways of doing it. And I, I don't know why, and I've, I've seen a lot of other bakers, but scared to use it. Yeah, I me don't, too. Yeah, it's, once you get into doing it, though, it's, you think, I'm so scared to use it. Yeah. But um, it's the unknown, I think. But I think I think a lot of people are scared. Yeah. I am, and it, probably because I because I ruined Dawn Butler's and Louise Brown. <laughs> never really never going to do it again. Confidence since. So give it a good mix. So we've got a few bits in there to melt. Are we doing our questions, John? Mm -hmm. So you'll find that as it cools down, it will get harder. So that is pretty much it. So you'd cover it with cling film and make sure the cling film is touching the ganache and there's no and air. And would you cover it now with cling film? Yeah. Let me give you the cling film then. Because then um, you can go back to it when you think it's fine. Is there? <laughs> so the question Nata said the last time she made ganache it went gritty. Do you know what might have done, might have gone wrong? I think maybe overheating it. Um, sometimes certain ratio chocolates I find uh, using. Just one second. So yeah. what you're doing now is you're actually sitting the cling film yeah. on top of the ganache. On top of the ganache, so it's no air. Because if you get air in it, it will um, create a skin on top. Um, but as for the grittiness, you may have overheated it. Depending on what chocolate you use, it's either overheated or um, I find using things like Cadbury's can be quite temperamental. Um, because it's a different consistency of chocolate. That's why I yeah. find the cheap chocolate works really well. I, I mean, I think it's the same with this one as well. It's to do with the cocoa solids in it. Yeah. Um, but yeah, cheap cheap milk chocolate, I find works the best with ganache. Yeah. Um, again, just making sure you don't eat, overheat it. I'd say a minute, check on it, let it melt. If you do need to pop it in the microwave again, then just 10 seconds at a time is all it needs. Because yeah. again, overheating it, chocolate tends to dry out and go gritty. Yeah. So that may be the reason why. But 
Yeah. Right. So that's and how long are we going to leave that there before we oh, that, that needs a couple of hours. So. Oh, does it? Yeah. So, oh, right. Well, that's good to tell them that. Yeah. So, so this isn't usable now? No. No. I, like I said, I usually make it the day before and leave it overnight. But I think... Really? Yeah. Yeah. See, now I would never have done that now. I would have been slapping that on the side of you the can, cake. You can use... <laughs> You can use it, and um, people use quite loose ganache um, to make just a really chocolatey. But to get it that to make it nice and smooth and things, it needs to be a peanut butter consistency. Right. Yeah. If that makes right. Sense. Well, that's good to know. <laughs> but you can even use that as a filling. Yeah. Of a cake. So you can yeah. put that as a filling cho chocolate sauce yeah. as well. Fantastic. Pretty good. Right. 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 Can you colour white chocolate ganache? Yes, you can. Um, I sometimes colour my white ganache for the drips that I do. So just a tiny little bit of gel colouring and you can make all kinds of um, coloured drips for your cake. Or you can use candy melts as well. So again, wherever you prefer. Mm -hmm. Right, so now I'm going to show you how we make... A tie dye. Have you got one? Yeah, I was going to say, do you want to chop it up here? Got the tie dye and um, fondant. A few bits on there. Um, I've put um, Polly under pressure. <laughs> she's never used Barina's upside down smoother, so she's going to give it a go. <laughs> Gets a rubbish. Don't blame me. <laughs> And I've never used it, but you no, have a chance better than me. No, I've never ever used it before in my life. So, but it looks good. It does really look good. So I am actually looking forward to using it. Right. So, let's put chocolate everywhere. This is my very bad uh, no dusting bag. <laughs> Okay, so I've got three bits of fondant, a white, a pink, and a blue, because they're my colours. Um, yeah, <laughs> they are, lucky you. <laughs> and have you coloured them yourself, I or have you bought them ready? No, nope, I've coloured them myself, just yeah. with um, some colouring. Do you have a particular favourite fondant you use? I do, and I ran out just before I came to you guys. Typically, um, I use Couture. Um, I find it's the best. Um, there's no elephant skin or... <laughs> Come on. I, I prefer it. <laughs> it's okay. We're sugar paste direct fans here. Oh, are you? I've never tried that, actually. Have you not? No. Oh, it's beautiful. No, I've never used that one. I've Don't you worry, I'll be giving you some to take home. <laughs> Well, have you converted by tomorrow? <laughs> I've used, this is cover paste, yeah. I believe. But yeah, give it a need. To be fair, everybody has their own preference, don't they? Some people like the cheap stuff from the supermarkets yeah. and they're very happy, yeah. aren't they? Yeah. We like the sugar paste direct. We've been very happy with I that. I think it's what you... Um, it's just what you get used what to. What you get used you to, like. yeah, yeah. It's what you get used to and... Um, I mean, I'm always open to trying. I'm yeah. used to use... Oh, you will be, Holly. You'll be taking some out tomorrow, love. <laughs> don't you worry. I used um, <laughs> Sweet Success for a while as well. Yeah. Yeah. Right, so nice and kneaded, she says. And then I just roll them into sausages. So notice one's a bit smaller, is that deliberate? It doesn't matter. You can either, I mean, some people do um, white, pink, blue. You could do a couple of different variants, depending yeah. on what kind of look you want. You can play around with it and see um, you would have loads of little different ribbons of colour, yeah. if you will. So you'll see as I go, you would mix it like this. 
and you'll see the colour come together. Very professional technique. <laughs> the sausage. <laughs> You're not doing bad for a little then, on there. That big roll of, that big roll of sugar paste. I like the colours, they're very vibrant. They look yeah. nice, don't they? I think you can just go for the blue and pink, but I think having the white in there I think breaks the white, it all yeah. up. I agree. You can over mix tie dye and it kind of merges too much, yeah. and in which you end up with a purple. So yeah. it's finding when you think it's ready. It's best to go too less than too much because you can always roll it up again. Yeah. Right, let's give that a go, I reckon. So you can all see where am I? Am I over Which here? Camera yeah. Andrew? <laughs> where am I? Which camera? I'm here. Yeah. So you, you can see the ribbons forming on there already. You have got purples where it's mixed in as well. So the more colours you use, the more variations of mm. colour you'll get. Grab my rolling pin. There's a question. Gwen said she had bought some sugar paste direct, but it didn't work on her cakes. Was there, she was going to buy some of the coloured ones. Did, has she done something wrong? No, because when we when she's done something wrong, if it didn't work, what is it she's done? We're not sure. Just said it was disappointed with how it turned out. Yeah, she's done she's done something wrong. If she messages me, I'll be able to help her because I'll be able to understand the question more. But we've done the tie. We use it all the time, the sugar paste direct, and not, not had any problems with it. But it's each to everybody's own. Some people are massive Tosino fans as well. Yeah. You know, and it's each to your own. Like I say, some people are supermarket brand finds. I really like that colour tie dye. That looks lovely. Yeah. I like those colours. As you roll it, you will find that each side will have a different pattern. Yeah. So you choose which one you like the yeah. best. See which one you think would look better on a cake. It's pretty, isn't it? Yeah, it's pretty. See, this would work, what I'm doing um, with this one, I've got a little topper, um, so it could be good for a baby reveal cake. Yeah, so you know what, pink or blue. fantastic, yeah. yeah. Obviously, I don't know what baby it would be if it was green inside, but hey, hey. Yeah. <laughs> Alien child. Yeah. Well, we have those now, babies. <laughs> We've got boys, girls, and we don't know. So. <laughs> Sorry, John, I'm going to get some Pulisic going. <laughs> I've got to get used to this, I don't know what you are anymore. <laughs> <laughs> right, so. You sell those mats, I'm assuming they're referring to the mats that Holly's working on. Oh, this one? Yeah. Uh, we don't sell that one, we sell the blue one, the pastry mat. This is one that we had made with sugar and crumbs on for us, and we were thinking of having them made, but we have to have that many made that I'm not sure whether we should go ahead with it. And just to have our logo on it, I don't know. You know what, it's a Baker Glide one. They're on our website they're called Pastry Maps and they're in blue and white. Does exactly the same, got the same details on it. So I think that side works the nicest for yeah. colour. Right, so have we got any water I could just wet my cake? You can, yes. cold water do you want? Or? Yes, that's fine. Yeah, no worries. I will move in the middle in a second. That's okay. Again, if I'm going too fast, tell me not. Whoa. Yeah. So you're just wetting it now so that yeah. the sugar paste is going to stick to it, it isn't it? It will stick nicely, yeah. So we're not soaking it, we're just damping it just down. Just wet, wetting it. If you 
wet a cake too much, it will start to eat through your fondant and that's where it starts to rip and you'll start going soggy underneath. So yeah. just ever so slightly damp. And make sure you get everywhere as well, because if you leave a little patch, you'll find a little air bubble, a little blah, air bubble <laughs> right. will be created. So yeah, just make sure it's nice and damp. Oh, over we go. Yeah, are we centre there, John? Am I in the middle? Yeah. yeah. Not too bad. Yeah, where do you want to go? No, that's no, fine. You right? Okay. That's fine, yeah. Right, and then straight over. Oh, your cake's going. Mm -hmm. okay. I smooth down the corners just to stop any ripping. Get those down first. Well, in a few weeks, we've got Kim Firth here who's going to decorate the pillow cake pans in front of everybody. Oh, okay. So, you know, because she's a dark drage, so that's going to be fun. So you're doing a round one. She's going to have to do the pillow one where you just rip the Oh, one. no! <gasps> Don't worry, it all goes wrong live. That's why we do live, Holly. It's how you're going to pull it right. <laughs> I'm just going to show you the front. <laughs> you do now would you take it off or are you just going to make it survive i will make it work you'll make it work well no that's good because you know what these ladies will want to know how to make it work when they're watching the lie this happens to them so what they want yeah. to know is how not to panic and how we're going to save it right just start with the right have you got a sharp knife uh -huh. so you could either take this off and recover or i'm going to try something else and that's all stuck down and I'm just going to cut no it's good because Sorry. you know so many of us have this problem and it's how we're going to save it I know it's your worst nightmare it is it's horrible <laughs> don't worry everybody will be supporting they are supporting on here we've been there we've been everybody's there everybody's like yeah we've been there <laughs> this is my life <laughs> I told you you should have used sugar paste direct. <laughs> Damn it. You wouldn't have had this problem. <laughs> I'm just going to smooth this down so that it doesn't go anymore. That's such a lovely colour, Holly. It's really very, very nice. It looks fab from the back as well. <laughs> <laughs> well, you know what, Holly? <laughs> the good thing is, you know what people are going to love about this, and they'll all agree as well, won't you guys? You'll all agree that you're going to be more, they're going to be more interested how you're going to come back from <laughs> this. Yeah, if you'd thrown that on all perfect, they would have been like, oh, I can't do that. Now, what I'm you've human. Done, you're human. I'm human. And now you're going to be helping them. And what, when this happens to them, instead of them having a complete meltdown in the kitchen, <laughs> which I would be doing now, um, you're going to help yep. them put it right. Well, we've had a comment here that someone wants to know how to fix it, as she did last, last time, and basically gave up and threw the towel in. I <laughs> have chucked many a cake away, and I have cried a lot of tears yeah. <laughs> in cake making. Yeah. I'm just going to make a bit of ganache, because I've realised when I'm yeah. in the last place. Um, That's sure yeah, I'm going to make a bit of that one. Okay. With tie-dye, it's a lot and with drip cakes especially, it is a lot more forgiving with smoothing. Rookie mistake, stick your cake to your board. Well, I was going to say, I think that's probably where you went wrong. Because, you know, when I said to you, your cake just slid. And I think that's probably why. Just got buttercream all over your thing now. Right. And a cream pop. It's fine. We can make it work. Yeah. <laughs> right. So. Good girl. Well, let me tell you now, the audience will be much more interested in knowing how you're going to put this right. <laughs> okay. And so am I. <laughs> this bit you cut off in the back. Well, what are they saying, John? Well, I was just going to say, this was all part of the plan. We discussed it before, wasn't it? Yeah. This was deliberate. This was deliberate, yeah. 
This is where we convert everybody to sugar based direct, is it? <laughs> We're going to wet the back. So, with tie dye, you can get away a lot more, especially with drip cakes as well, because you're going to cover it with the ganache and sweeties. Yeah. And I know sometimes you want to cry, but it's not worth it. No. It's not worth it. Listen, you should have been here on Thursday when I was trying to get my buttercream red. <sighs> I was having a complete yeah. meltdown. <laughs> well, it changes, it can change the consistency, can't yeah. it? Like, if you go just over too much, it yeah. can... It wouldn't go red, and suddenly it was red. Oh, really? <laughs> right, just wet up the back of the cake. And we're going to cut off the spare bit that I've got. We're going to panel it, she says. Yeah, that's what a couple of people have mentioned. They said panel it and hide the join with the drips. They know. Yeah, I think a lot of people have been here. <laughs> yeah. Right, let it sit. Smooth like a good one. Yeah, and if you can turn it, if you can sort of turn it to the camera where, you're, where we are, we're on okay. this camera. That one. So I've literally just stuck it on the back. It looks absolutely awful right now. Don't worry, it looks beautiful to me. <laughs> Colour the excess. You know when I said rustic looking buttercream? This I is rustic fondant. Rust this is rustic fondant. Slap it on. Slap it on. <laughs> right. And I don't care what anyone says, this happens to Oh, it does. They're all saying that. These comments that happening. Yeah. One lady's just saying, I love how calm you are at fixing it. I've you, are so the, much. you are the greatest. <laughs> well done, Holly. Great recovery. Look, see, Holly, you know, everybody's very supportive because the thing is, people aren't here to laugh. People are here to learn and they want to learn. And these are the things that happen in their kitchen. So it's good. You oh, talk them through does. it. It does. It does happen all the time. Right. So, what I have done. Julie's just said, I bet professionals make mistakes and cover up all the time. You're doing a fab, you're, you're doing fab, and it hasn't stopped me wanting to give it a try. And that's Julie oh, Howe. Gosh. Leanne Degan says, you've got this. Oh, hi, Dean. <laughs> and Nikki, Nikki McNelly says, and somehow it looks like it was supposed to be like that all along. <laughs> it was. See, look at that. It was. Good it rescue was. job. Go, girl. <laughs> See, look, they're all behind you. Well done. Right. So, Thanks, everybody. Look at that. It's covered. Hurrah. <laughs> <laughs> right. So, it's covered. So, what are we going to do? Smooth it in now. I'm going to smooth it in. Don't worry too much about this join here. And that is the great thing about drip cakes is they are forgiving because the drip's going to go over here and you won't see that at all. Yeah. So, I'm just going to smooth the sides. Oh, if you start stressing, that's it. You that's get hot, when it you're going to get wrong. on fire. Yeah, that's it. And you know what? If you do start stressing, it happens. I cry. My husband knows. I've literally thrown stuff at the wall because I've been that stressed. <laughs> well, I have to say, you've dealt with it very well today. This is your first time. You're nervous. And you've dealt with it very, very well, Holly. So I'm proud of you, girl. And everybody else is by the looks of it as well. Yeah. Can't believe how easy she fixed that. Yeah. If yeah, you're yeah. and you're getting stressed out, just walk away. Five minutes, go outside, have a cup of tea. Because the minute you start stressing, it just gets worse yeah. and worse. Wicked and worse. repair job by Natalie. Charlotte says, good save, Holly. Sarah, go, Holly. Good rescue. Elizabeth, that's brilliant. Just how I do wallpapering when I rip <laughs> the wallpaper. Right, okay then. <laughs> Doreen Griffin says, you may have been panicking, but you didn't show it. Well done. <laughs> well, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> so it's on. So just keep smoothing. The joins you can see now aren't that prominent. Now that's perfect. Louisa Johnson says, if you don't make a mistake, how do you learn? Exactly. And that's why they're watching it. Exactly. Yeah. I still make mistakes all the time. All yeah. the time. I mean, I've only been doing this two years in February, so I am... Still a newbie, I really am, yeah. and I still learn so much. 
And I, with cake decorating, I don't think you can ever stop learning, ever. No. Well, I think you've done well, and I'm actually glad that happened, because I think a lot of people will be glad that happened. <laughs> no, I think a lot of people will be glad that happened, because there's nothing worse. You watch everybody, and it's perfect, and then they don't... What they really want to know is when they're when in a mess. Wrong. When they're in a mess and in a pickle, how are they going to put it yeah. right? I'm going to risk the upside down method though. No, I don't. I'll forget the upside down method. I don't think I'll put you under that much stress, and I'll do that for another time. To be fair, your cake's fairly flat, you don't need it. Yeah. So, what I would do now, I mean, that's pretty. It's just me. I don't want to. I'm just going to do the top. To be fair, bring this, you should do it, you know, you should try it. Mm. Yeah. Yeah, put it on there, go on. Do you reckon? Yeah, just leave your cake mm. there. <laughs> yeah. Oh, I'm going to tell you how to do it. <laughs> it should face, so leave it on blue side down. Right. So you sit that on there. Yeah. Yeah, turn your cake upside down. Oh, God, you don't do that. Yeah. Well, you may as well do it. Listen, if you can do that repair job, you can do this. So you turn this upside down. Yeah. It's going to make it really nice and flat. Okay. Now, do you understand what you're going to do yeah. now? Can you see it? I like it. Yeah. And you were scared of this. I this was. is going to this is going to push it all the way down. And this is my gift to you for doing this now. <laughs> so this is Barina's upside down plate, guys, and this will give you a really nice sharp top. So all that um Polly's got to do now is push the sugar paste down towards the board, flatten it in, that's it. Keep going up and down, bringing it down. If she just puts a bit of pressure on and pushes it all down, you'll get it really nice and flat. Now we do have the Get a Grip smoother, but I forgot to bring one home, and the one that I have at home has disappeared, so we just had to use one of the. Put in a really safe place. Yeah. <laughs> just don't have the same places. Do you like it? Yeah, I do. Yeah, I tell you, you'll take that home and you'll love that. So this is the 10 inch board. It is on our website, guys. We do a round and we do a round and a square. How thick should the fondant be rolled out to? Um, everyone's preference is different with how much fondant they want to do. Um, I find that some brands you can get away with it being a lot thinner than others. So again, it depends yeah. on your brand. Um, they say that about muscle to see, you know, don't they? Yeah. You can take that really thin. Yeah, really thin. Because mm. um, some have a little bit more stretch than others. So there was just a little air bubble here, and all I've done is just pin pricked it just to get that out. Is it a real cake inside? Oh yeah, it's real. I baked it last night. <laughs> Oh, I can see Maria's got her eye on. Are you leaving one of these behind? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you can have one. Ask me to go. Right. I think that's pretty. And again. You're cooling down now. Go back to normal colour. <laughs> well, you know what, Holly? You know what? You've done yourself proud, girl. You've done yourself proud. What are the smoothers called? Uh, the Verena's get it. What you need for this is you need the, you need the board, okay, the upside down plate comes in squares or round, but it doesn't really matter which one you want, um, which one you get. I would get the square because then you can use it for both of them. And it's the Get a Grip Smoother. They're on our website under Verena, oh, might be under baking accessories, or they could be under Verena's cakes, I can't remember if that. Category's still there. Right, so you're going to turn, you're going to lift that cake up now. Oh, I'm stuck. Okay. Yeah, that's it. And 
This is where you stick cake sticks yeah. within. How lovely and flat side. Mm. Mm -hmm. Beautiful. Yeah. Right. So, I think that's nice sharp edges. Look how flat that is, isn't it? Isn't that? Yeah. I like it. I like it, eh? Right. You were scared, weren't you? Oh, I was, I was. <laughs> I'll just put it here. I'll put this in back. Right, I'm getting them on your nose now. Awesome. Now we've done that, I'm going to do the drip. Thank you. <laughs> oh, no worries. No one wants to see that. No, you can wash your hands over here if you want. No Thank worries. You. Good, good, good. Right, I'll have a little clean up for you. Thank you. And more bags. Didn't she do well, girls, eh? Don't we like this, eh? That would have been fun if I was doing this, eh? Crikey, you'd have seen me, I would have been on fire, going bright red and having a complete meltdown. So I'm very proud, no, I'm very proud of you, Holly. I'll just put this in your bag for you, so you're all sorted out, won't you? So put those in your bags, tie up, so have a little clean up, get onto the exciting bit. Yes. So again, you can still see the seams, but with okay. the drip peg, it's a little bit, like I say, it's forgiving, because it looks like it was meant to be like that. I was going to say, with the dripped <laughs> cake, I think you would struggle not to see the seams, but I think if yeah. that was a white cake, or if that was a yeah. one-coloured cake, yeah. you wouldn't have okay. a problem, would you? No. There you go, girl. Right. Right. So, now we're going to make the drip to go on top. And all you need, um, you can either do chocolate, thanks to me. Um, you do milk chocolate, but I like to do white chocolate on that kind of cake because I think that'll look good. So, 100 grams of cheap white chocolate in your bowl. Grab my scales. Thank you. And again, ratio 3 over 1, 3 parts chocolate to 1 part cream, so I believe that's 33 ml of cream. Now this is the bit everyone panics with because it's getting it to a consistency that it isn't going to completely run down the cake. Right, so if we could pop it on 30 seconds first yeah. and then see how it is. It's, it's better to heat it slowly with this one rather than too much because if it gets too hot it will literally just go whoosh, straight down the cake and it'll be little puddles around here. There you go, Holly. So any comments there, uh, John? Everybody will be giving you a round of applause, Holly, because you've done amazing in that. Any comments, John? You still with us, though? Yes, yes, no, no, nothing. No, no questions at the moment. Okay. I've got questions. If you don't get those sweets on there pretty soon, <laughs> I'll blow my diet all together. Pardon? Thirty seconds. Thirty seconds. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you very much. Here's your palette now. Okay, let it sit in there and let it melt. Now. People do this in different ways, so you can either put it on the top and gently let it drip down, you can put it in a squeezy bottle and do it that way, or I like to put it, pop, it, a blur, blur, pop it in a piping bag and do it that way. Do you want to just show them those squeezy bottles because yeah. we have those on the website yeah. as well because some people prefer those. those. Yeah, you can use those, pop it in and then just do your drips that way, it's a little bit more precise. Right, so they're saying you're doing so well. Kelda says it seems such a shame to cover the top. It's so pretty. Aww. In fairness, I probably agree with that as well. Gorgeous colours. So, um, wait a minute, just say. Somebody said, um, Cake Charway says she's learnt so much already. Oh, Paige says, girl, you rock. <laughs> Jane does, Dursley says she's flooded her worktop with drips before. <laughs> it's easily done. It's yeah. literally just getting it to the right consistency. Before, when you do drip cakes quite a lot, you will learn how and what consistency it needs to be. Yeah. But when I first started doing it, um, I got a dummy cake and trialled it on the dummy cake before I popped it on my cake, just to see how it would go. And I think that's okay. 
your finger out and let it cool. So just to remind everybody that this is in our own kitchen. It's not for professionals. We're just no. having fun in here, putting it together. If we was making this cake for anybody, um, obviously there'd be different standards yeah. of hygiene. So, but we're here, we're just doing it live. We're all here in silence watching you do that there. I'm holding my breath. <laughs> because we need to watch this now for the strip going on. Okay, if you're ever in doubt... Right, when you're ready, If you're ever in doubt with how it will drip, use the back of the cake and do one drip and see how you do. If it's too hot, it will go whoosh, right down. If it's the right consistency, it will slow right down like that. And Very good. Steady step. But again, before you, if you're not confident with it, try it at the back of the cake because if it does right, run right down, yeah, just leave it a few more minutes just to cool down. Yeah, and it's the back of the cake, and you can just take it off and try yeah. again. So can you try and show it to the camera there? Yeah. Sorry. That's perfect. Yeah. Yeah, that's perfect. So you go along straight and then just edge it over to get the drips yeah. going. And add more on a drip, or less. Go further. I can feel it's all old in our breath there. <laughs> add to it. I can add more. If you want drips to go a little bit further down, you can do. Look at that little smudge that we did there. Like that, and then we just need to squish the rest on the top. Very good. It's looking good, Holly. You're doing very well. What are the little bottles called on the website? Uh, if they go to the brand or the baking accessories, brand if they go to PME and they're just two squeezy bottles. And they're great, actually. They are really very good. Make it easy. And it's, it's actually pinned to the top of our post. So where our post is, the link is in that post there. Or they can go to baking accessories and they'll find them there. Or if they go to search and put PME squeezy, just the word squeezy, uh, they'll find it. Very good, Holly. Okay. They're nice even drips, aren't they? Even drips. Are you clever? So what you can do, is you, I haven't got a ribbon with me, but you can pop a ribbon around the bottom. And then, this is the bandit. So how are you going to decide which one you front there now? Um, I'm probably going to look at what's the neatest. Obviously we've got the creases. So I would probably go for the, for the way drips look there. That's going to be the front. Yeah. Okay. And then I've just got loads of these lollies. Um, I believe I got these. You can, I mean, I, I live in a seaside town, so they're everywhere where I am. Yeah. But I believe you can get them on eBay or some sweet shops sell them as well. Yeah. Could you colour that before putting the drip on? You can, yes. Oh, you pulled the lollipop off. Yes, you can. Just um, don't put too much colouring in it. It has to be a paste, really, rather than um, a liquid. A so liquid. It needs to be a gel or yeah. paste, doesn't it? Yeah. And you wouldn't use powder. I wouldn't put powder in it. Um, I've not tried powder, but yeah, it might make uh, it gritty. Yeah. And do you have to cover in fondant before you put the drips on? No, yeah. I do buttercream ones as well. The um, salted buttercream you guys do is amazing on a chocolate cake with chocolate drip over the top. Yeah. So tasty. Come on, lollipop. Got scissors. Got it. 
Strip. Where have you got the lollipops from? Um, she lives in a seaside town, so yeah. they're plentiful. Yeah. <laughs> but you may be able to buy them from uh, your, well, I'd probably say you should be able to get them from. Yeah, you can get them from, if you've got old, fa old fashioned sweetie shops are kind of around everywhere mm -hmm. at the moment, so you should be able to get them um, from there. Mm -hmm. Possibly on eBay. Yeah, on eBay. So this is the back where you start yeah. to decorate first, aren't you? I'm doing this backwards, so I'm yeah, hoping it looks yeah. okay from the front. So that's the back, yeah, it does. Yeah. So, so the front's facing us, yeah. and you're, you're building up from the back, aren't you? Yeah. So it's good to have a really high back, because it brings yeah. the attraction there. I've literally just got loads of sweeties, and I'm just going to... Have me, I am. <laughs> I'm on a diet, I've done so well. I've ruined my diet this week, but I've done... I've done well in resisting something. Yeah, that's what we've got. Oh my god, Maria. <laughs> okay, just keep looking at it and see. If you wanted to paint it gold, would you leave it a few hours or would you refrigerate it? Um best way of painting it gold is to use Royal Icing Drip. I found because um, ganache has kind of a greasy, whereas uh, greasy texture. So as you paint it on, it tends to come off easily. So if you want to paint it gold, I'd say royal icing is probably the best bet of doing it that way. Yeah. You turn the camera back. Tony, yes. no, sorry. To de actually, to decorate mm. it is ever so hard, especially when you're in the middle as well. <laughs> <laughs> So literally you can use any any sweet you want. Any sweets. It's looking good. You can even bring the sweets down here. Just let that drip. Just hold it. For a few seconds. You know if that starts rolling down and I'll just it's rolling down. It's rolling. Stick that on last. I'll go back to it. Mm. Is everyone following okay, am I? Yeah, no watching. So you're building high from the back yeah. and then you're just randomly putting these randomly around. Down. It's good to use the high sweeps at the back. And the question is, is it okay to put the sweets on there with the wrappers on? Um, I wouldn't. No, I mean, I don't think it looks great. Plus, well, it will stick to it, so getting it off is a bit mm. sticky and you don't even the plastic thin. And Mum, don't worry, it's been when every kid's touched it, we don't care. <laughs> once, it's left this, once it's left the building. <laughs> yes, these live videos are every Monday, 8pm, and also on a Thursday morning at 11am. So if you don't like sweets, you can use um, chocolate, um, or I've done things like meringue kisses, macarons, Rochers, 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 Rochers. Yeah. Um, Those mini bars of chocolate. Ch yeah. Chocolates, just yeah. chocolates biscuits, all over them. Biscuits. Yeah. Um, yeah, you can literally use anything you want to put on there, really. How are you looking? Still getting there. Mm -hmm. And what are all your small things for, then? Um, yeah, once we've mm -hmm. filled it with sweeties, we can sprinkle. Got up a bit of bling though. <laughs> a little bit of sparkle. And then I don't know if you guys have seen these. 
Yeah, we sell them on yeah. the website as well. Amazing. Yeah, they're great. Aren't um, they? And literally. Yeah. Guys, if you want those, we have them on the website and they're called House of Cake, Luster Dust. And they're in a pump, so you can just squirt over. How effective is that? Oh, yes, cool. that's nice. A few more of these. For any kid who loves sweets, literally, it's just their heaven. Yeah, looking nice. So you just got to remember to stick one on that drip that you have there. Yeah, well, when you've got a little bit more time, it can set a little bit firmer and it's a bit easier to stick things to it. I just turned it around to the camera, sorry. There we go. Okay. And then... You just hold the, sp the luster spray up to the camera there. Yeah. yeah. That one? Yeah. Down a bit. So we have those, we have those in bigger bottles. They're called House of Cake and we've got them in, I think, four or five colours. We've got them in blush, silver, gold, and bronze. And I think there's a pink as well. Oh, no, I can't remember. There's four or five colours. House of cake. And then, depending on what occasion, you can get a topper. Let's see where it's best that's going to go. Literally. You can add more sweets, less sweets. Yeah, super. That looks good. Yeah. So, round of applause, that worked, well done. Well done, so what do we think guys? Are we impressed? Don't we think the girl did well? <laughs> you did very well, Holly. Very, very well. So, give her a round of applause, give her, get those thumbs up for all the likes. Just remember, it's live here in the kitchen. You've never done a live before, have you? So, um, to be brave enough to come into this kitchen is quite nerve-wracking. Other people will tell you it is as well. So, you know, when you know there's so many people watching and you're under pressure, and then when things go wrong, it's good for you because you're going to learn how she's going to get out of it or how I'm going to get out of it. But it's nerve-wracking for us, isn't it? It is. So, because we think, oh my God, I hope we are going to get out of it. <laughs> So, how's it going, John? Is everybody liking it? Thumbs mm -hmm. are going up, are they? Smiling? Yeah, yeah. Brilliant. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to let Holly sit down here now. Oh, and I'm just going to move way. this little cake out the way for a moment. <clears throat> then we'll come back to it. And I'll get my cake out. Marie, do you want to get my cake out of the fridge? We'll bring that cake back in a minute. And I'm just going to quickly tell you about this the bundle deal. So this bundle deal, I've just put 12 nozzles together, okay? There's flowers and there's tulips, but there's a nozzle in there that I want to use. And we're going to use this one, okay? So I, is that on the camera there, John? No. This one? Mm -hmm. Which camera? This one. This one. So we're going to use this one, and we are also going to use the fine grass, and we are going to use the sunflower as well, okay? So there's lots of nozzles in here. The pack does, generally, that's basically you get 12 nozzles. I think it's 24 pounds for the 12 nozzles, two pounds each. The genuine Russian piping tips, and it's a selection so that you can do different things with them, all right? So what I'm gonna do is, is that I made some flowers. So all I've done is quickly put this together. So quickly put this together. And all it was was just to give you a different dimension. Now, to be fair, this is a dummy cake because I've been in work since half past six this morning. I got home at four o'clock and we have just, Holly got here, we had a coffee and basically we've just smashed this together, haven't we? So I am going to quickly show you. I'm going to use the pin. So there's my pin show you so this is a pin from the queen of hearts girls queen of hearts couture cakes so do remember we're going to use the large leaf as well i'll put that together for you in a minute and uh put that together and we'll put some colored buttercream in there we're just going to use buttercream that's actually in the bag so we're using the pre 66 leaf the very large one 
And then let me grab a chair. Have I actually got some flowers in there? I can't remember if I made a couple before. So all I've done is, it's just to show you that if you want to, like with the Russian piping tips, you know, you make, flower, you make flowers and I've showed you how to make a big rose. So all I was doing here was, thank you very much, all I was doing here was using the nozzles to make bigger flowers, okay? So just some of you may have asked me about these particular tips. So let's get a little bit of buttercream on. So we're just gonna put a little bit of buttercream on our piece there, okay? And we are, oh, Maria, sorry. <laughs> She forgot you guys then. Was you enjoying yourself, Maria? <laughs> Did you for totally forget them all? So we're just going to just put a little bit of buttercream here. Um, when I was in the kitchen before, I used what was in the bowl. So all we're going to do is spread this around here. Yeah. And then I'm going to use one of the centres. And the centre, which camera can you see close up on? Yeah. Up there. Which is best. So if, can you move that up? So basically we're gonna sit the nozzle on the top, we're going to squeeze, form a base, and we're gonna bring this one out. This one's called sunflower, so you can just leave it like that if you want, okay? And Maria, are you in the way of the camera? Sorry, so are you ready, Maria? Yes. Sorry, fighting for the cameras here. <laughs> so what we're gonna do is, let me just get me a little holder. <laughs> so those of you who think this holder is not worth it, I will tell you it is. Can I just have, use your cloth there? Yes, of course. Sorry, that's great. So as I said to you, you do need a cloth here. So basically, the nozzle, this one here, this smiley face has got a little indentation as well. And it's got a little bit of a serrated bit on there. Okay, so we're gonna use it so it's down, if you understand what I mean, okay? And then what we're going to do is you just make your own way. So we're going to squeeze it and we're going to come up. And we're going to squeeze it and we're going to come up. Squeeze it and we're just going to quick, quick, quickly keep overlapping it. So we're going to squeeze it, come up. Squeeze it, come up. I'm going to make a couple of these. And then while I put the leaves on, these are going to go in the fridge to set. So let me just get that one off. Okay, I'm going to put that one on there. So it doesn't matter which buttercream you're going to use. Just to, again, do this like your crumb coat. So that's all we're going to do. Yeah. And then I'll just use one of the other nozzles. So this one is the multi-star that we're going to use for the centre here for this particular stamen. And, and then we're going to squeeze it. Sorry, didn't get my nozzle right. But you know what, we'll have it on sideways like that. You can basically do anything you want. They don't look, they don't always look great now, but when they come together, John was really funny. He came home from work before and he came in the kitchen and there's Holly and I minding our own business. Very happy, weren't we, Holly? And uh, you can sit if you want. And he gave us a look of disgust, didn't he? He's like, what are you doing? So, um, so let me just put a little bit of buttercream there. So you do need to spread it out. I'll do another one there. So we're just going to bring that one up and then I'm going to use the blue. So remember, smiley face down. So we're just going to bring the blue one and we're going to pull it over. I'm going to pull it over. And you just keep pulling it over and you can make it as small or as big as you want. keep going around with this one and I'm going to pop these in the fridge and we're just going to pop on our cake. Now I'm only going to make those three just to give you an idea okay 
Now they don't have to be really neat or anything like that, but when they all sort of go together on the cake, they'll be fine. Right, so Maria, can you pop those into the fridge to set for me for a minute? Oh, sorry, I've passed them that way now. Sorry, Holly. Yeah, so we'll get those out of the way. And then we're going to get our leaf nozzle here, okay? And for the leaf nozzle, are you ready, Maria? So for the neat leaf nozzle, we're going to, I've got some white in a bag. And it's only in the bag just to make it easy for me to screw it in. So I'm just going to put, I'm going to have some white leaves with a bit of colour in. Yeah. Just because I wanted to make this bag different. So what I'm going to do there is put the white all the way around. Just going to put a bit more in. I don't know what these leaves are going to come out with because I just like mucking about. So I'm just going to squirt a little bit of the pink. I'm going to squirt, squirt a little bit of the yellow, the lime green rather, and a little bit of the blue. Oh, wrong blue, blue and white. I'm going to push that down there. And I'm just going to put them in. And then while those flowers are in the fridge, what I will do is, so you'll see I've got this cake here now. So what we will do is we'll bring this over and we'll start to put a couple of leaves on while we wait for those flowers to uh, grow. So this is the big leaf. I know what you're going to ask me. You're going to ask me how to make these. So we're just going to just do a nice big white leaf and the colour will start to come out soon. So can you see the colour coming out there? And what we'll do is we'll just bring a bit of a leaf there. And we'll bring a little bit of a leaf there. And there. And there. Okay. And I'll go around this way here. Sorry, Maria. And I'm just going to bring out some leaves here. I don't know whether you like this. I don't know which camera you're looking on. Which camera can you see, John? This, this one. Which one? This one? Can you see there? Am I in line there? Yeah. Yeah? Okay. So can you see these leaves? They're not green leaves. This is just our bright coloured cake, just to do something a bit different on, that's all. Yeah? So you don't you can have leaves whatever colour you want. But this is just for our bright looking cake. I don't know what you think. What do you think so far? If you think it's rubbish, you can say it's rubbish. I don't mind. I actually quite like it. I like it. Like it. What do you think? Like Should we call this our rainbow cake? <laughs> <laughs> so, I think that's quite good. Mm. Lots of comments like right then, John, so far. Do they like it? Yeah, very positive. Oh, you sound convincing there. <laughs> hey, that was very convincing, John. <laughs> Yeah, very positive. So, there we go. That's great. Brilliant. Yeah. What flavour? I feel like? really confident, what, guys. What flavour are you using? What flavour am I using? Um, pina colada, isn't it? Yes, pina colada. Crikey, I forgot. <laughs> yeah, pina colada. Sorry. I wouldn't mind. We were tasting it in the kitchen. <laughs> oh, we were saying how nice it smelled. Right, those flowers haven't been in the fridge long enough, but we're going to have to get them out. Yeah. So I'm just going to put a little bit more buttercream on there. So they haven't really been in the fridge long enough, really. Okay, in fact, leave them in the fridge for a minute, Holly, because I'll just put a bit more of the leaf stuff in here because I'm going to need some more leaves. And that'll bag me a bit more time. Pardon? Are they getting there? So just let me just do a bit more. Do you like the multicoloured leaves, by the way, guys? So all I've done is, is put white in, put the pink in, just squirted that in. What's the metal thing you held to do the flowers? It was, right, these are on the website. You should buy these, they're brilliant, okay. These are the Queen of Hearts um, flower holder. This is the holder and this is the flower nail, okay. So when you, especially when you're making big flowers like this, sometimes you have to put it down, so it's well worth doing this. So let me put some blue in there as well. And then I'm just going to put a bit more of this colour in, 
just because I really want to get some leaves going. I've not decorated this cake all the way around. So, just one minute. So, just let me put a couple of leaves in here. I'm just, oh, sorry guys. So, let me just. This is our multicolored. I like it. Yeah, I, I do. Tropical. Is that what colour it is? Tropical, what do you think? Mm. Holly was funny before. I said this was my um, peony or chrysanthemum <laughs> and she just looked at me as I had gone completely bonkers and said it looks nothing like it. So I thought, okay, Holly, you'd be blunt, love, don't you worry. <laughs> I can take it. But you know with mixing those colours like that, look how lovely they come out there, those really nice pastel colours. So we're just going to keep coming down and we'll keep coming down. And I've put a blob here because this is in preparation for one of those flowers that I've just done. That's a good one. Yeah, it's amazing, mm -hmm. isn't it? I've just turned it round different ways. So all we're doing is the front of this cake. Oh, I just... See, all I've done is just put all the different colours in and you can see it coming out now. So I hope you like it, how vibrant it is. What do you think, John? Do you like it? Yeah. You're changing from that thing that you sort of... It looks fantastic. <laughs> right, Holly, let's see if they're set. Then these haven't been in the fridge long enough, really, but they're going to have to do. So, they're going to have to do. And are we still on this camera? So, we're just going to... Oh, no, they're still not set, really. Right, they still haven't really... Oh, right guys, these haven't, oh, should have done this demo earlier. Right, okay, these have still not set yet. Why don't you come back and do it later? Yeah. Oh, no. We're dabbing me tomorrow. Yeah? Mm -hmm. I should have come back and did this before, shouldn't I? What I should have done is stopped you in the middle of it. So, um... Right, I tell you what I'm going to do, I'm just going to put these in the freezer while I go over everything, what we've done, and then we'll quickly stick it on. So just open that freezer door there, and let's stick them in there. So it does show, you do, you know, I did know that you needed a bit longer than what I've just shown you. So we'll just find a shelf in the freezer. So hang on, and then we'll go over everything that we've done. I'm just going to put these in the freezer for a couple of seconds, just stick them on that tray there. Super. Just shut the door as fast as you can. Don't worry about yeah. it. Right. Okay, so guys, let's clean up. So let's talk about what we've got here and what we're doing while we're giving those a couple of minutes in the freezer. And then let's bring Holly back and talk about her cake. So, so Holly, bring your cake back here. I don't think I'll spend that. That was all right, though. very colourful. I like it. Yes, yeah, so and I shall put my next to it. Look at that. <laughs> I'll make two colourful cakes, eh? <laughs> Very good. Okay then. So guys, for those guys who've been watching, basically um, Holly has come along and done a drip cake tonight. She's used chocolate lime cocoa powder and um, chocolate uh, uh, key lime icing sugar. So let me just tell you. Okay, but in the cocoa powders, if you want to do a chocolate cake, I did show you how to make a chocolate cake last Thursday, so you can go back and I think the title was called Chocolate Cake, was it Maria, for the video? Yes. Yeah, okay, so we do five flavours. We've got chocolate lime, which is what Holly's used this evening. It is gorgeous. If you remember those old-fashioned lime sweets, green on the outside, chocolate in the middle, that's exactly what it tastes like. We've also got chocolate coconut, which is like a bounty bar. We have chocolate chilli, which I adore. It's not everybody's favourite, but it's amazing, okay? We also have chocolate orange, but it's open because this is what I used on Thursday. And the chocolate cherry we've used for something else already. We've used the chocolate lime, uh, sorry, the key lime flavouring. Now, just let me tell you now, I put a bundle deal together on the website. We've got lots of flavours that sell okay. And what we think is, is that the top sellers keep going time and time again. And sometimes people are a bit shy about buying these flavours. 
So I put eight flavours together for a bundle and I've reduced it to night for £14 for you. So that's eight flavours for £14 and it's the eight taster bundle because I really, it's a good bargain that, I really want you to try the taster bundle. In there you get banana split, blueberry, orange zest, gingerbread, Turkish delight, pineapple and key lime. So give those a go. Um, you've seen us make cheesecake, you've seen us make uh, buttercreams, marshmallows, um, we're going to make meringues with them, we're going to make a pavlova, those are all the things that are coming up in the future. Um, the, the Queen of Hearts Couture Cakes, Valerie and Christina, if you follow them, they were here a few weeks ago. They made an amazing cake with their amazing buttercream. Their book is here, okay, all signed for all signed for with a little freebie card in with temperatures and things on and their book is amazing okay very easy to follow and I think I've showed you all the new things go on can you talk about the heaven baking awards? oh yes so baking heaven as well so baking heaven awards the link is on this post as well we've been nominated for four categories if you believe that we're, um, I can't remember what the categories are. Actually, Maria's going to find them and read them out. I'm so useless at those things, aren't I? There I am, promoting my company. I don't even know what categories are. I'm such a shocker. So, um, but Maria will shout them out for me in a minute. But if you want to go to the link, so the top of our page, um, the link that was for tonight is to pinned to the top. When we finish this session, this session will be pinned to the top with all the links. If you go there very kindly, it's free, and all you have to do is, is vote for us in all those categories if you believe that we deserve them. And I'll tell you which categories they are, okay? Uh, and it's all on the public vote. No fixing. You don't have to pay to win on this one. It's all down to you guys. So we're in Best for Beginners, okay? So we believe that we're Best for Beginners by showing you our Facebook Lives. Um, best customer service, which we believe that we do offer. Most useful decorating tool, we believe those are our nifty nozzles. And the best brand, it's got to be sugar and crumbs, hasn't it? We're great and we're friendly, <laughs> okay? So you can vote for those as well. All the new products are all linked to the top of the page as well. Yeah, the sugar paste that we've used, the colour splash that we've used, the flower nails, all these are there. The book is there, so everything's there. Don't forget your cupcake cases, they're an absolute bargain. 500 for 9.99, the foils. And the tulip wraps are 7.99 with it, 8.99? 8.99. 8.99 for 200, which are a bargain. Um, I'm gonna be back on Thursday, 11 o'clock a.m. Now, I don't know what I'm doing on Thursday. I did know what I was doing, but somebody asked me to make eggless cakes. Never made an eggless cake in my life, but that is going to happen tomorrow. So I found a couple of recipes and Holly has apparently got an amazing recipe for a vegan eggless cake. To be fair, after there's no nothing in there, I actually don't know what it's going to taste of, so I'm quite interested myself. So, um, so she's going to give me that recipe for me to have a go at tomorrow. And providing those two recipes work, the eggless cake recipe and the vegan eggless cake recipe, okay, Providing they work, I'm going to be doing those for you on Thursday. And then I think what I will do is, I'll use some nifty nozzles and we'll use them in these tulip wraps and we'll put a little bundle together, okay, for um, Mother's Day or Valentine's Day or whatever <laughs> celebration you're celebrating. So, do we think those are frozen now? I'm dead impressed with them colours. What do you think? Do you think they're good? Oh, good. Are they good? Yeah. Good, 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 good. Oh, they are frozen, aren't they? Good. Right, so let's get this on here. So, I've got where my buttercream was now. Where's my blob of buttercream? There it is, wait a minute. Just let me get that buttercream there. So, I need to put a blob on at the back here to stick it to. So, I'm just going to. Jane Dirge has been doing legless cakes, but <laughs> legless cakes, have you, Jane? No, no, in fact, no, no, eggless. <laughs> eggless. Oh well, I don't know. I Bit think legless typo. sounds better. <laughs> so we're going to put that one on there. I need to put one round here. So we'll just put um, we'll put a bit of buttercream there. 
I'm going to peel this off. All you do is peel them off the paper like you do like when the Queen of Hearts did their flowers. And we're just going to put them in there. Yeah. And where are we going to put this big blue one? We're going to put this big blue one here. So let me just get the buttercream in there a minute. So we need a big mound of buttercream. I'm going to put this blue one on here. Now don't forget, this is not professional cake decorating, guys. This is just our way. Yeah. So anybody who wants to do it the professional way, off you go. But at the moment, we are just doing it our way. Just let me get this on in. I don't know which camera you're on there, John. Which camera you're on? Yeah, the over here. So I'm just going to stick a few of these on here. Okay. These are the ones that I made last Monday for the blossom cake as well. So we're just going to put that on there. Well done, Holly. You're good at this, eh? I'm going to do those. And I hope you like it, guys, this cake. Right, let me get my leaves. Let's do the last one. Pardon? Let the one please share. Oh yes, and don't forget guys, can you please share this um, Facebook Live for me? Much appreciated if you would. Really does help get our name about. And you know, we want to invite more and more people to, the, to our Facebook Lives. And we can only do this if you share it. So, let me just pop that on. Sorry, I'm just going to have to have a look at this cake here this way now. Just to make sure that I've... Got it all on. So I don't know which camera are we on. Are we on this camera? Yes. So I'll just finish off these bits here. I've not done all around the back, I've just done the front because I think the front's enough to be fair. I like it. Yeah. I'm just going to do a bit of a leaf there. How would you store the flowers once they're made and how long will they last? Well, the flowers will last for as long as butter lasts. So however old the butter is, as long as you keep them in the fridge, you'll be fine. So as old as the butter, providing you've not added milk to them. So guys, I think that's it. I think that will do. Does that look okay? Yeah? I'm falling in love. You've fallen in love with it, have you? Okay, so there you go, guys. So we've used Nifty Nozzles. That was that bundle for £24. There's 12 nozzles in there. There's the single flowers in there, some tulips in there, and then there's some centres, and then that half moon one so that you can make these flowers with it. Just enjoy. Just use nice, bright colours. Use your pastels. I think they look a lot nicer than the darker colours. And you know what? I've never done leaves like this before, this colour. And... Um, I just thought, you know what, let's throw it all in and put it together and I actually think it's worked out quite well. If I'm bigging myself up and not, like what do you it. think, Holly? Really okay, good. so all I'm going to say now, so come on, so if you want to give Holly a big round of applause, thank you very much, Holly. You're welcome. Thank you for having me. Yeah, this any la last final questions, anybody? John's not saying anything. <laughs> He's overwhelmed with all the love hearts I'm getting right at the moment. Hey, do you know what would be a record? There must be that many love hearts how much, how much icing would you may need to make a cake like that? Um, right, well, to be fair, this is a dummy cake, so there's nothing inside. Um, so it's two. I would use at least one bag of icing sugar just for the crumb coat, okay? And I would, which, which is basically 250 grams of butter and 500 grams of icing sugar. And for, the, well in fairness, I know exactly what I used it because I'd already made the buttercream. I made two tubs of it. So I used 500 grams of butter and one kilo of icing sugar because I'd already pre-done the buttercream because I was just warming it up when yeah. you came, weren't you? So when I say warming it up, I'd taken it out of the fridge. I'd forgot to take it out of the <laughs> fridge this morning. So we had to wang it in the microwave for 30 it's seconds. <laughs> Yeah, so that's what we've done. Yeah, so good. So any comments, John? Does anybody want to ask anything? Do you like no, it? No, just lost a pop of colour. Two beautiful cakes. Well done, ladies. Yeah, well done. 
right? Uh, brilliant. Brilliant. Well, I'm going to say goodbye now. Are you, Holly, are you saying? Nasty. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <I'm off> <laughs> So thank you for joining us again on a Monday night. If you want to ask any questions, just leave them on the post, even when the live's finished. And um, uh, Maria, Laura and I will start answering all the questions tomorrow. If there's anything you want to ask Holly, just ask. And I'm sure Holly can answer those questions when she gets home tomorrow night. When she's watching this live, she might even do it when she's in bed later, I don't know. Okay, but anything you want to ask, feel free to ask. Otherwise, join us on Thursday, and that's Thursday, 11 a.m. It will be me. I will be making an eggless cake, a vegan eggless cake as well. And if they are a disaster tomorrow, what else am I making? What else was Somebody on the diet? Somebody a cheesecake. No. Maria, <laughs> what was we originally going to make? A garret cake. Oh, we was going to make a carrot cake, um, and I think that was a gluten-free carrot cake, wasn't it? So if these fail tomorrow, we'll be making a gluten-free carrot cake. So you're going to get some free. <laughs> <laughs> okay, and we'll do some with nifty nozzles. So that's a definite goodbye for me. Thank you for joining me. Thank you for joining Holly. And, and again, as usual, John and Maria behind the scenes, well, not so much Maria, they're here every time helping us out. And thank you to you guys for sharing with us. Don't forget, share. Bye-bye.